Microsoft planning to release Windows 11 version 24H2 and you guys are very excited to upgrade to Windows 11 without any kind of problem. In this video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade to Windows 11 without any single problem. But before that you should understand why you should upgrade to Windows 11. And so many Windows 10 users also asking this question. Let me just answer it and after that I will show you the complete process to upgrade to Windows 11. But before that if your Windows is not activated and you want the cheaper Windows key then you can visit this website like my keys shop here you can get all kind of cd keys at very cheap price you can see here windows 10 pro for one pc it is around 15 dollar you can find here keys for pc games origin games steam games many other new tools also and you want a windows 11 key that is also available here which is around 26 dollar it is windows 11 pro and microsoft office key is also available here so just go and visit this website if you want these keys first big reason is microsoft ending the support of windows 10 on 14 october 2025 you are not going to get the latest feature and security updates if you use Windows 10 after ending the support. Another big reason is the feature which is not in Windows 10 that is going to be available in Windows 11 like you have snapping layout and many other features I already covered in my previous videos. You can watch those videos. Another big reason is it added some extra level of security using TPM and Secure Boot so your system will be more secure. Another big thing is Microsoft for claiming they have improved the performance of Windows 11 in comparison to Windows 10 and definitely it is. I already made a video Video on comparison you can also watch that and another best thing is for gamers it support auto HDR and direct storage which improve the gaming performance best thing is new UI look new features new built-in apps like paint apps snipping tool notepad app all having AI features which also increasing the productivity at your work they also have some technology internally optimizing the background apps which also increase your battery life of your laptop I think it's enough literature to upgrade to Windows 11 and simple answer is you should upgrade to windows 11 okay so let's get into the process how to do it first thing you need to check for upgrading to windows 11 your system is meeting this minimum system requirement of windows 11 or not you just need to download this pc health check app which i already downloaded in my system click on check now now you can see this pc meet windows 11 requirement here tpm and secure boot is enabled okay so let's enable tpm and secure boot from your bios so basically you need to just restart your system and press the f9 key for hp if you have some other manufacturers laptop or pc in image you can see the corresponding boot key you can press accordingly after that go into security section in security section you can see tpm state which is enabled here so in your case maybe it is not enabled so just select it and enable it now just go into system configuration here you will see boot options in boot options you need to enable this secure boot option so just enable it and press f10 to save and exit in your case bios could be different so i will put all the links and videos you can go through that and enable this tpm and secure boot so basically if your system is meeting windows 11 requirement and now just go into windows update here you will see like windows 11 version 24 h2 is ready and it is free so you can just click on download or install it will be automatically upgraded this will only show you after enabling tpn and secure boot maybe in your case it is not showing you just click on stay on 10 how you are going to upgrade you can just follow the next method so basically you have to go to this official website so from here you can use windows installation assistant to upgrade as they are saying the best option to installing windows 11 i would not recommend to install install using this because it will take lots of time sometimes it takes hours to upgrade to windows 11 right i would prefer download the iso just select here multi edition and click here download choose the language here like english united states click confirm and click here 64 bit download so now we have downloaded the iso in your case if version 24s2 is released you can also follow the same process just mount this file open it now right click on this setup and open it click yes Check this box, I want to make the installation better, click here next. Now click on accept, ready to install, install windows 11 pro, key personal files and apps, your data will be safe, no data deletion at all. So just click on install. So after this you don't need to do anything, all things are automated now and uh, you will be upgraded to windows 11 without any kind of problem.
so finally we have upgraded to windows 11 so after upgrading you need to use it for at least 10 days after that if you think it is not working for you you can just go and roll back but let me tell you that day is not going to come because it's working smoothly and it's awesome right go into task manager and see the resources users cpu uses you can see two percent or three percent processes are 129 okay memory uses you can see it's using a 2.4 gb i have 4 gb ram here so basically if you have 4 gb ram you can run it without any kind of problem so basically you need to watch my speed of windows 11 video because it comes with some other background apps and processes that you need to stop you just need to invest 10 to 20 minutes and that's it after that your system will be very smooth so basically if you are a true windows fan you are going to watch my windows 11 version 24 s2 features video in that i cover all the features and i already told how to use them so just go and watch it and let me know your thoughts about the windows 11 in the comments